So for now, I would like to have a look at some more of the user cases from, uh, from Railsbank. So Lou, what would be your showcase user cases? Well, we very much start with we, we we very much start with allowing our customers to have an easy integration. Um, and when they've done that, they have access to a whole su different suites of capabilities. And it starts with banking as a service, um, and they have the ability to programmatically open ledgers or bank accounts. Uh, and those ledgers can hold any fungible asset. So it doesn't just have to uh, hold a fiat currency, it can actually hold a commodity or it could hold loyalty points, all sorts of things. So it makes a really interesting um, potential product there, um, especially around aid and, and things like that. So what they, they then have the ability to do is to send money in and out um, or, or send a stored value in and out of those ledgers. Um, and that can be a local payment route, such as UK Faster Payments or, you know, Global Swift. But you know, let's let's concentrate on a local payment route, SEPA, Swift, uh, SEPA, UK Faster Payments, or in the case of the US or, or, or Singapore, ACH and, um, and SingFast. We can then um, potentially attach other types of, of products to those ledgers and, um, and, and, and use partners if we need to, but we can attach a card uh, that looks to the ledgers uh, for authorization at point of sale. And, and all our products are white labeled, so we are purely plumbing for everyone. Okay, so this allows our customers to totally concentrate on their front end, the customer experience and, and all the nice things. And we're, we're just there to, uh, to be the utility company. Now, Lou is actually stepping in for Nigel, who's on the Government FinTech uh, Review uh, Committee this morning. So um, thank you, uh, Lou, for, for stepping in. And we will um, be sharing uh, some film content from all of our judges, um, but we'll um, definitely share Nigel's content so you can hear from him uh, afterwards. So that'll, we'll put that on LinkedIn. So, so Lou, um, big shoes to, to fill, but what will Nigel be looking for as a judge, please? Yeah, so, so we've, done a, we've done a number of these before. Uh, we've done some hackathons of, um, uh, uh, weekend hackathons of um, lots of people coming together, 100 or so people coming together um, and building products over a weekend. And we have received some amazing ideas and, 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 and actually got some really good um, uh, people who've come and worked at Rouse Bank who we've met at these, um, at, at these the hackathons. So, for, for what's going to be able to be achieved over the next few weeks, I imagine there's going to be some absolutely amazing things and, and everything Faith, I'd like to re reiterate everything that Faith said is really important to us. The, the unit economics and everything that Rouse Bank can bring to the party make financial inclusion a really, really important and doable product for us. Uh, I'm looking for stuff, I'm sure Nigel's looking for stuff that solves a problem, as I said before, uh, is global, as Faith said, but also is scalable as well. So that, that's something that we, you know, we, we allow companies to work with Railsbank and, and we want companies to work with Railsbank, prototype, grow their business, and then be in the position to scale it you know, within you know, the first year or two. And that, that's something that is really important for me. Um, is this scalable or, or, are we, or are we looking at a small use case here? Uh, you mentioned obviously uh, lightning aid, some brilliant um, use cases from that, one of which um, was really exciting, um, the Association of Independent Musicians. They needed to send money out to all the musicians who've not got any work at the moment, and they were literally able to do that. Sent, they sent half a million pounds out within a couple of days. And so it's things like that really, really solved a problem and solved that problem quickly.